I'm the Madison family, excuse my mom, with her big mouth. Um, but, um, this is my second role play, and you know I don't do role plays. I will not be doing any again that I know of. I just watch them, I don't do them, you know. But these are my earpods. I have Amazon, they are not sponsored, they are this brand. Thing or that brand right there if you can read it. I'll see if I can find the link, but I cannot find them again after I bought them. I know it's not a scam, but they work good. I just think they have a couple of, like, you know, problems sometimes. Like, they disconnect and stuff, but you can only use them with a certain feeder range. I think it's, like, 10 to 20, but anyways, that's not what we're about. Okay, um, hang on, you guys. Someone's calling me on my phone. It's a 419 number. Which Hang on, let me answer it. Hello? I like speaking. Oh, hi, miss. Who am I talking to, may I ask? Oh, you want to sign your daughter up for camp? Okay. Um, so, do you know where we're located? Yes. Okay. And may I ask for the reason for your daughter coming? For, um, athletic issues and, you know, behavior and all that? Okay. Does she have any disabilities? Speech and eating and all, and anger and all that? Okay. Um, I just have to know that just so I know what she can do and, you know, what's hard for her, what we need to help her with and stuff as my as a job counselor. That is my job. You understand. Okay, great. So what I'm going to need you to do is I know it sounds like a lot, but I'm going to need you f to fill out two years worth. Well, no, not two years worth, but, you know, quite a bit of paperwork because you need to get to know Talia and your daughter, Elibre. I've never heard that name, but, um... Yeah, let me put you on mute for a second, because I gotta talk to someone, okay? Thank you. Okay, guys, so sorry, my computer froze, but that's all I gotta say. Now we gotta get back on this phone with Lady. Hi, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh, it's fine. Okay, um, so, um, the best time would be for you to come right now, or 8 in the morning, um... But yeah. Um I'd say right now and then Talia and uh your other daughter, I didn't catch her name. Bella. Okay. Bring Talia and Bella to the camp and they will start their first night. Usually we don't do that, but we're gonna do that with them since they have like issues and stuff. Plus, I think it'd be good for them to get to know the camp, and it won't be just them. They'll have, like, their you know, buddies, and, you know, cabin people, and all that. But they will have to follow quite a bit of rules. If they don't follow them, they will be kind of not disqualified, but they will be punished, and they can't do certain things. Or we will have to go home and figure out what's going on, or you'll have to come get them. Okay, what are the rules? Ma'am, I cannot discuss that over the phone due to privacy reasons just because it is a lot and some of it is different for people and stuff and we're just not allowed to discuss that by the state okay you understand okay so i'll see you in about 30 minutes okay um since it is COVID 19 we have to social distance and you do have to have mask um and if talia is under two and they are under two they cannot be at camp because they at least have to be six and up. Or no, wait. Well, let me see. Because it was six and up. Hang on, ma'am. I'm going to pause you real quick. Well, I'm going to mute you. Sorry. Pause. Okay. Let me check my little laptop here. Four years. Okay. Hello, Miss Brickham. It is four years and up. So they at least have to be that. 
and I need to see their paperwork for their birth and, you know, birth certificate, all that. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Hang on, let me call it back. 419-223-6523. Hello, Miss Brigham. Um, I forgot to tell you, since we have to social distance, you can either come to the window and we can talk with the screen, like above you like a computer screen or I have this screen that I that I have screwed in and you can just talk through there but it is kind of hard for us to hear us or would you brother like come and then I see you but we talk over phone or would that be too weird for me to you know talk to the girls or whatever could I come out to talk to the girls uh let me check hang on ma'am Hello, Miss Brickham. Um, I'm sorry, but that will not be an option due to COVID-19 pandemic. Um, but I will meet them, you know, since they're coming into camp today, so I'll get to talk to them then. It just won't be as much, so then when we have, like, cabin time, we'll be, like, six feet apart, but I'll ask them, like, personal questions and stuff. Um, but yeah. Okay, um, you're here. What color car are you in? A red van. Okay. Um, so come in the front entrance where it says Hardin County, Hardin County Cab, or Camp for Special Needs and Other ap Epidemics. And what we mean by that is we mean, like, everybody, you know, can come here that has a issue or just needs help or something like that, you know? Okay, so you're coming in, so what you need to do is you need to buzz yourself in and my friend Shaylee will tell you that you can come in unless she sees that there's something wrong and our camp is very secure so you will have to like get your picture taken and all the kids and get them through the like the security detector before you come back to me because in order for me to talk to you we have to make sure you're safe and don't have any weapons okay I'm gonna mute you and I'll talk to you in a minute okay bye so we'll just wait for a couple minutes, and my friend should buzz them. Okay, she buzzed them. Hello, are you guys in Miss Brickham? Yes, okay. Come all the way back, all the way back, all the way back. Keep walking. Turn to your left where you see the right and the left bathroom. Turn to the left again, like you're going to go in the bathroom. Then take a right, then take a left, then enter the door. Then go all the way back to four steps then turn in that door then walk down then walk down then you see me i know my desk is kind of far and it doesn't make sense but i do that so that i have my own space and you know i can work yeah okay so what are the kids age five perfect um are you still married or dating with father no you guys got a divorce. Okay. So, we will need to see, like, custody papers and stuff. Um, so, in order for that, which I didn't tell you over the phone because it's probably for a few reasons. And if you're wondering why I'm telling you now on the phone, it's because we heard our camp. So, this is the same phone, but it is, you know, more safer here than Miss Brookham. And then, wait, did I move like that? No, you weren't using this phone, but, but... But if you're not here and you're talking on the other end about something personal, they can get it. But since you're here, they cannot. So, um... You have to see those. So the girls will not be able to stay for about a month. Now, I'm sorry, girls. But in order, we have to see that, you know. That's my kind of my job, and I'm gonna ask girls if you smoke, you know, do drugs, you know, anything like that. And I need them to be honest with me. Do not have them full up lies for you because I've had a lot of kids that do that, and they—it's not their fault. But they go to like a counselor for about a couple months, sometimes years, and then same here with us longer. And some things they don't get to participate on not because they lie to us just because we want them to understand it's not okay for them 
the life for the parents. It's not okay. So, um, don't like bake them anything because we will do tests and we'll be able to see all that. So, yeah. But if you don't want to bring them to our camp, then you don't have to. But we would like to have them. Mm. But yeah. Um, and there's a bunch of rules like. No jumping up on the bed, no chewing gum, no phone calls from parents, no phones, stuffed animals are allowed, no snacks or drinks if, unless we say you can, you know. And sometimes, you just, and I, we will let you bring your phone, I mean, it's, you just can't have it, like when we're walking, there are certain times for pictures and there's not. So if, um, they don't have a phone, oh great, they do. I was going to say, if they don't, we have disposable cameras, but they're kind of cheap, so yeah. But they still work, and, or if you can bring a disposable camera. Um, but if the phone gets lost or something, ma'am, I'm sorry, we will not be responsible for that, because you let your child bring it, so then you'll be responsible. Even though they are in our care, you'll be responsible. And you've got to sign a paper for that, and then the girls have to date it and write their name just as they would at school um but otherwise they don't have to really do anything other than just follow my rules no jumping on the bed no eating no taking pictures unless we say no going off with friends no sneaking out past 10 and stuff because our bedtime routine starts about eight o'clock showers you know some fa friend family time kind of thing where we get around and we play games, eat a snack, watch a movie like a Christmas movie or something early. Then about 10, 30, 11, we say go to bed. And yes, we do have TVs and cave boxes in our room. So they are allowed to watch, you know, TV and stuff. Um, but if we notice that they're up too loud or we're tired the next morning, we'll take away wave an hour of TVs, which means they gotta go to bed earlier within that hour, or they won't get to do something with us, and I know that don't sound fun, but it's also not fun when our students do not listen to us when we say you need to get enough sleep, so make sure you are off that TV, either we say a certain time, or we say make sure you're off that TV, or else you're gonna be tired in the morning, and it's not our responsibility. Or we'll have to take their TV out and make sure they don't have one and they just have a nightlight or something like that. Um, because we don't want to deal with kids that are up to the night, which yes, we don't mind it if they have a problem or something. But if they are just up her making noise, you know, all that, then we're not going to do that. So, um, if your kids don't like those rules, unfortunately they can't come, Miss Brickham, because we do not deal with that type of behavior here. Um, so yeah, you better... You know, go over all the rules. I'll send you an email and stuff in about it next week. Um, but, uh, yeah, do you have any questions? What do we do about biting here? We're going to bite someone. Well, we call the parents home and we see what's going on. Like, if there's something at home that's going on. Or we'll just try to take care of it. And if it doesn't work, we'll call the parent and they have to help us figure something out. Or else we'll figure something out. If they don't like the person or something. Um... But if it's just because they want to do it, then we will have to give them punishment, give them punishment at first. You know, we won't smack their hand or their butts or anything like that. Uh, but we will have to give them punishments. And then if that don't work, we will have to threaten to call you. We will call you. You'll try to talk to them. That will be the only time. And you don't have to be stern, but you need to explain to them like you would at home if they did something bad. Because we expect the same ha behavior that they get at home when they're being good to be at camp. And when they're being bad, we don't expect any of that. But if it gets too out of control, even after you talk to them and they do it again, or they're smart mouthing one of us, after we ask them multiple times not to, they will be kicked off the premises, which means you will have to come get them. Or if you do not have a ride, find someone to come get them because all their belongings or something like that or... Because we will not be able to drive them because that's like, you know, campers, privacy, you know, whatever. Or if it's like, you know, the short walk, they will have to walk home with all this stuff, which will be a lot. And I know it will be a lot of pressure on them. And I know they're like four and five. 
but if they really have to, which I would say you're crazy, crazy, crazy mom and kind of dumb if you're going to let them walk home. But um, if you are, you know, let us know ahead of time just in case, you know, that would happen, which I hope it don't. But if it does, we will send them on their walk and they will go home and, they, and the next year after that they can come back if they want or if not. But if it happens that next year, then they will be banned from all of our camps around Hardin County and everywhere else because we do keep a record. So I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't care what camp you go to. They're going to sell you know. It's just in case. Not trying to be rude. Just putting the rules out there. So I hope you understand. Okay, you do? Okay, the girls really don't understand. We'll try to explain them it to them and if they don't understand or they don't like my rules, then tell them we can either... You know, try to work something out, but they have the same rules, or, you know, just don't send them and let me know. Okay, okay, they understand, kind of? Okay, okay. And we do have a nurse, just in case something would happen. Okay, okay. Thank you, Miss Brickham. I'll see you soon, Talia and Bella. Okay, bye. Okay, you guys, so that's the end of the role play. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will not turn me. Uh-huh. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this second role play and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.